Hey guys, this is Comic Uno, and today I'm doing a review for Teen Titans Annual Issue 1. And before I start talking about Teen Titans, just want to give you guys a couple updates. Of course, I have Comic Uno Episode 91, and that's show where I review all the comics I read this week in one show. And here are those exclusive comics. We got Lady Killer Issue 4, Graveyard Shift Issue 4, Wolf Moon Issue 5, Robin Hood Ongoing Issue 9, UFO, UFO Lology Issue 1, No Mercy Issue 1, The Flash Season 0 Issue 7, Future's End Issue 48, Earth 2 World's End Issue 26, and Batman Eternal Issue 52. So if you want to go check out all those reviews, go to Comic You Know Episode 91, which is annotated. But let's talk about Teen Titans Annual Issue 1. Um, so... This is uh, the Teen Titans Annual. Um, you know, there was an issue, like, a couple of months ago that I was like, whoa, Teen Titans back on track, and then it just, like, went back down. I was like, oh, Star Labs, you are really boring me. Um, but I was kind of excited to read this annual because Superboy returns. I love the cover. Um, really like the cover here. We get to see the old classic uh, Superboy uh, costume, even though it's not really used in the issue, but kind of is getting close. Um... But yeah, Superboy is returning, and I was like, maybe there's hope for this series. And let's see if there was hope. Really like the cover. Let's see what's going on with the story. So with this issue, we get to see that Superboy killed a lot of people, and we find out they're actually aliens from um, Martian Manhunter's planet, so Mars. And they, they were actually aliens, and this girl was there, and she witnesses all this. So she's an alien too, but we don't find that out until the middle of the issue. And Superboy is wanted for murder, and it's all over the news. So the Teen Titans want to help Superboy, because it's like, oh, well, we don't actually believe that he did this. But Cassie, on the other hand, Wonder Girl, she's like, yeah, I do believe he did this. So it's this big debate of, should we help Superboy, should we not help Superboy? And also, Martian Manhunter going on a hunt for Superboy, as this girl, who was the only survivor, knows that Superboy didn't do it and wants to help, even though whoever did this killed all her people. Um... And by the end of the issue, we get to see that um, Star Labs somehow gets into it a bit uh, and says, well, you know what, you should join our forces with our other people here. Um, so that's what happens in the end. And Teen Titans still want to help Superboy, but still a debate. Um, but what do I think of this issue as a, as a whole? And just like I said in my Batman um, Superman review, if you haven't checked it out, um, I review annuals a bit more strictly because it is a 499 book and is an annual worth 499. Is it continuing a story at all or is it just like a filler story? And I'll say this is one of the best issues of Teen Titans. Um, Going back to a couple months ago, where it was my pick of the week, uh, as I said, it kind of went down. The Star Lab story got really boring, and it felt like they just weren't acting like a team, which has been a complaint of the New 52 Teen Titans as a whole. But this book, it felt very... I don't want to say very pre-New 52, because it didn't, but it felt like they were a team again. Um, and Cassie and Tim, um, their relationship felt kind of pre-New 52, like a, a tad bit, not a lot, but a little bit, you know, their connection. And Tim believing in Connor, and then Cassie, you know, loving Connor. You tell in her face she loves Connor, but just doesn't trust him and, and doesn't want to fall into that uh, that plot again and that, that side of um herself again, I guess, and just doesn't want to trust them anymore, uh, even though you can see that there's still something there. Uh, and that's something I love about the book, was uh, the Superboy, Cassie, and Tim stuff. Um, things I didn't like, which weren't a lot, honestly, um, probably was Martian Manhunter, but I liked his story. I really liked this character who um, is not Miss Martian, but she looks a lot like Miss Martian, and I have a feeling she's the replacement for Miss Martian, because even, it felt like very young Justice in a way, um, the way Miss Martian or new Miss Martian, whoever you want to call her. Um, the way this alien was acting with Connor kind of felt Miss Martian-y, and I feel like that's a replacement um, in the New 52 for her, and she's kind of an interesting character, I'll give you that. She, she has me interested in this issue. But going back to the negative, um, I thought Ma Martian Manhunter was a bit harsh um, from what we've seen in the New 52 with him. Um, with Just League United, he's not that harsh of a guy, you know, but then there's other stuff in the beginning where it seemed like he killed a lot of people, so it doesn't seem like they have, like, the right track with um, Martian Manhunter. Some writers write him differently, and it seems like he's a bit more harsh here. But also, you know, his people were killed, so I guess that's understandable. 
Uh, and then once you get to the Star Lab stuff, I didn't love the cliffhanger. Like, ugh, the, the thing that you need to stay away from is Star Labs and concentrate on that they are a team. That's what I loved about the issue, but I fear in the next issue they won't concentrate on that. But this issue as a whole was really good. I liked it a lot, and uh, Teen Titans issue 1 for me gets a solid 4 stars. And you should definitely pick it up. It's one of the best issues of the new 52 Teen Titans so far, and it has touches of the old Teen Titans in a weird way. Um, but I'm interested in the new characters. I like finally the direction Superboy is going and um, it feels like they were a team in here. Let's hope they could, uh, they could uh, continue with this after uh, Teen Titans and after um, Convergence, I mean, <laughs> after Convergence. Uh, so we'll see. I I'll be picking up. I actually was going to drop this series, so I'm kind of glad it, it picked up again. So yes, Teen Titans Annual Issue 1 gets a solid 4 stars. And hope you guys enjoyed. This is Comic Uno. Don't forget to follow me on Twitter. Don't forget to like my Facebook page. Also in the description below, there's links for my comic book, Like Father Like Daughter. And don't forget to like the Facebook page of Like Father Like Daughter. And I recommend Teen Titans Annual Issue 1. Hope you guys enjoyed. Bye.